Hi everyone, it's Arthur here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes, the shares, the wonderful comments, the subscribers, and all that you do to help me keep this channel going. I do appreciate it. So again, thank you. In the meantime, yes, I want to apologize. There is a delay in getting this show done. I got a flu shot. I got sick. And it never happened before like this. Um, I was in bed for like two, three days. So I was able to crawl out this morning, get this done. And then I'll probably crawl back into bed after I do this. So bear with me. Also, I did get some wonderful emails of people promising to send love and light. And I believe that has helped. So thank you. I do appreciate you all. In the meantime, a little bit of housework, and I don't do windows. Um, I did get the voiceover done for my next guided meditation, Unleash Your Creativity, which we're hoping to get up and running by December 1st. That being said, you know, winter solstice, December 21st is right around the corner, you know, that shortest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. So I do have a guided meditation called the winter solstice. However, I've been remastering. So I'm going to re-release it probably around the 15th. So use the energies of the winter solstice to help manifest what's coming in for the new year. Okay. Now, as predicted, no shutdown. That's right. No shutdown. But it had nothing to do with the wonderful new Bumble Bible thumping. Let's try that 10 times. Bible thumping mega, mega mic. Okay. Nothing to do with him. Had to do with Democrats. The third time in a row, the Democrats came to the aid of the Republicans so there'd be no shutdown. So now it's a continuing resolution, basically kicking the can again. But let's see what happens around the 15th of January when we get to watch this three ring circus all over again. But I don't think Mike Johnson is going to be in the good graces of the Republicans in the House. I don't see it. Again, I predicted that he's going to be gone and there'll be a placeholder for a little bit. And then Hakeem Jeffries steps in. That's my prediction. Believe me, all these shutdowns, as we all know, it's all political theater. And I just wish that they would cancel this show. They can get rid of cats, they can get rid of this one. Okay. Talk about getting rid of people. As I've also predicted, that George Santos is not going to be around. In fact, he just announced he's not going to be running for his next term. Oh, poor George. We're going to miss you, precious Georgie. Not really. I mean, let's face it. I'm going to read something here. Mike Guest, the chair of the House Ethics Committee, introduced a resolution to expel George Santos just one day after the committee released a damning report on Santos's alleged financial misdeeds. The resolution cites a timeline of allegations against Santos, starting with how most of his background was shown to be made up shortly after he was elected in 2022. Really? He lied? He did? He? Oh, my God. I didn't know he lied. The resolution cites that the Health Ethics Committee's findings that there is, quote, substantial evidence that campaign funds were converted to personal use. Yeah, personal use. It would be nice. Wouldn't it be nice to go to MAs to do some shopping? And then... Sephora, get some Botox. That's a good, that's always a wonderful thing to get. And um, oh yeah, only fans. Republicans, porn. They've got to be connected somehow. Thank you, Georgie. Anyway, so he's used campaign funds for personal stuff, including porn. And he also failed to correctly report his campaign finances to the Federal Elections Committee, as well as the convictions of two of his campaign staffers on charges connected to fraud and their professional capacities. 
Now, the resolution also cites the 23 federal criminal charges Santos is facing. 23. Not as many as 91, but close. Let me think a couple of years. But I do feel, you know, whenever I look at this guy, lyrics to songs from the musical Chicago keep on coming to my head. And this one is, he had it coming. Believe me, he had it coming. Now, I've also been predicting that little Tommy Tuberville, Tuberville, Mr. A you know, the guy from Alabama that lives in Florida, the former coach. What is with these former coaches? Anyway, um, I said that this resolution, that there'd be a resolution of some sort by the end of the year that he would not be able to continue this blockade of 250 plus military promotions because of his war against abortion or whatever it is, or just his war. So, yay, Senator Amy Klobuchar, chairwoman of the Senate Committee and Rules on Rules and Administration. They had a vote. Yay, she put through a resolution. And the Rules Committee voted nine to seven, nine Democrats, seven Republicans, to advance a resolution to break through Senator Tuberville's blockade of military promotions on the Senate floor. Next is the Senate floor is where they hope to pick up Republican votes to get this resolution through. It's only for this Congress. It's not for forever, but it's for this Congress to get rid of Tuberville's insanity. I do feel that will happen by the end of this year. Yay, Christmas is coming early. Now, I've also been predicting that Hunter Biden is not going to be sitting around quietly while they do what they do against him and his dad or try and convict him and make whatever sins they think he has done be his father's sins. Not going to happen. In fact, Hunter Biden filed a motion in federal court this past Wednesday to subpoena former President Donald Trump, former Attorney General William Barr, and other former Justice, Def Justice Department officials for documents and materials that his legal counsel alleges was part of a partisan pressure campaign to pursue investigations into the president's son. In other words, a smear campaign. And they're the ones that are saying that Biden is using the DOJ, and weaponizing it. Hmm. Have you ever notice when these people say Biden's doing something or somebody's doing something, they're the ones doing it. Just saying. So, and I still am predicting he's going after Marjorie Taylor Greene and her revenge porn, flashing his D-picks you know, on the floor of the Senate or the House. Crazy lady. And if you, I don't know if you saw this or not, but she also went again. This past week, she went against Christopher Wray, you know, the Republican Trump appointed head of the FBI, screaming and yelling at him. A little banshee. A little nut that she is. And basically was upset that he didn't recognize the stuff that she was throwing, you know, the pictures she was showing were screenshots from her Twitter page. And he basically said, I don't follow Twitter or X, or whatever it's called these days. I just wish they would X her out of the, out of the house. It's going to happen people. But I'm going to say this real quick. Now you always hear me say, vote, vote, vote. I'll repeat, vote, vote, vote. Why? Because look at the crazies that are voted in now. I mean, do you want another clown car coming in? I don't think so. And look at the chaos that these people have created. All they do is wreak havoc. Because let's face it, why? When you have chaos, then fascism can take over. And you get someone like Trump coming in who, by the way, has been quoting Adolf Hitler and saying it's his free speech. Whatever. But no, people. 
do not sit on your laurels and say, well, they say Biden's going to get in. So, yeah, well, he's going to get in because you're going to have to vote for him. Don't let somebody else vote for him. It's up to you. Every vote counts. So make it count. All right. And don't forget, I was saying, people were saying, well, Hillary's going to get in. Well, she didn't. And I was telling my friends she wasn't going to get in. They didn't talk to me for two weeks. And then the inevitable happened. But I don't know what crazy soul contracts we have, but we can correct things and make them happen in our favor. So as I've always said, send out that positive light to every nook and cranny of darkness in this planet. Send it to these people, these MAGA it's. You know, they, there's no changing their mind. They're nuts. But we have to send them love and light so that hopefully they see the light. All right. And at the same time, we have to vote. All right. I'm getting off my soapbox. Yes, I'll become much shorter now. And speaking of Trump. I mean, the man has been using Hitler's words, calling people vermin, and also Mussolini did that same thing. He's nuts. Now, Maggie Brooks asks, hey, Arthur, love your show and so happy for your continuing success. Well, thank you. I would not be here without you. Will 45 win his appeal on the gag order from the D.C. court? 13 Republican attorney generals signed a brief in support of 45 seriously nuts yes that seems to be the word of the day if this was Wee herman show the word they would be nuts and everything would go crazy when you saw the word nuts on the bottom but he's not going to win his appeal case he's not going to win don't forget in dc judge chuckin step back on the gag order and the minute he she did Boom, he went in. At the same time, don't forget, he had an appeals court in New York in the fraud case. There was an associate justice, David Friedman, temporarily lifted Justice Angeron's gag order on Donald Trump and his attorneys in the AG civil case in New York, civil fraud case. Now it has to go for a full panel. So they lifted it. Trump went all F nuts. Again, nuts being the appropriate word. Um, where he went after Jack Smith again, went after his family, his wife, his daughter. He went after the law clerk again because it was lifted. Well, now it has to go for a full panel in New York. They're not going to let it go. They're not going to say, oh, no, there's no more gang order. It's going to be reinstated, believe me. It's limited, but it'll be reinstated. Now, question. Will the orange menace use his elder sister's death to postpone his coming to justice? Not really. Not really. I mean, her funeral was this week. I read, wrote it down here. Trump's he posted and defended himself against his indictments within minutes after announcing the start of his sister, Marianne Trump Barry's funeral. So they start the funeral. He goes on social media saying, goodbye, my sis. Oh, in the meantime, I'm innocent. It's a witch hunt. All this other crap. Are you surprised? Yeah, me too. And don't forget, this is a sister that basically, she's a circuit court judge. She resigned right when the stories came out about how they, Trump and his sisters and everyone stole money from his brother, Mary Trump's father. And then how they got away with all the tax fraud and everything like that. And she stepped down. Well, let's see what happens. 
Now, Sunny Vibes. Has Melania secretly provided info to Jack Smith or other investigators? I don't think so. Not yet. Believe me. She's going to be like, singing like Canary. If, if, if the, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on cold medicine. So I'm a little groggy. So bear with me. Um, Basically, don't forget, she was trying to get more money out of Trump, redo all the prenups and everything, saying it was for Barron. Yeah, right. And as a psychic, I've been saying that the divorce paper has been sitting in a drawer. She hasn't been signed. You know, it's like, I think every year that there's a couple million she gets that she doesn't sign. But they're in a drawer. She's not going to be around. Is she going to turn him over? Yeah, here's a binder. Here's everything I have. When the time is right. She hasn't done it yet. It's when her back gets to the wall. So, but she's going to be in trouble too. She's going to be in trouble. Now, Mom's to asks, when will Hakeem Jeffries become Speaker of the House? Thank you. Really enjoy your videos. Thanks. Well, I've been saying to Mike Johnson, remember that 10 minutes after I saw his name, I said it was going to be out by May. No way of the May. I still say that. I said, I feel it may start, the campaign against him may start in February, into January and February, and when we're in Aquarius. And then things start to move forward. I feel he'll be ousted. I feel there'll be a placeholder of some sort. But then I'm feeling June, July is when Hakeem Jeffries takes over. And then, of course, in November, when Congress goes to Democrats, he's officially the man starting in 2025. Okay. But I do feel he'll be the Speaker of the House before the elections. Either that or I'm on crack. But anyway, let's continue. Lynn asks, will the Supreme Court's new ethics guidelines be enough, or will more rules be imposed upon them? If so, what? Just because there's rules, do you think they're going to listen? They're going to do what they want. I'm sorry. There's no... They're getting slaps on the wrist at the moment. You know, they think they can get away with everything. They're not going to. It's going to catch up to all of them, believe me. Lisa Ann asks, how long do you think it will be before Thomas is out of the Nazi Supreme Court? How about Alito, Kavanaugh? Any consequences coming for Jenny? Oh, yes. And I don't think you need to be a psychic to know this one. But I've been saying for the last two years that I felt it would be October that Thomas would be stepping down. Obviously, not this October, but October 2025. And I think it's right before the election. He's going to be stepping down for health reasons, but he's going to be stepping down. And everything's really hitting the fan. fan. Maybe trying to turn the fan off, but it's still going to hit it. It's going to hit ugly. And a lot of stuff is coming out about Jenny. And I do feel she's on Jack Smith's list. Don't forget, there are a lot of unnamed co-conspirators in January 6th. They have not been announced yet. She's on the list, believe me. And I've often felt Kavanaugh, I don't see him there for another two years. I feel he's going to be gone two, three years. Now, also, I've been predicting that within four to five years, there'll be a might a bit of an overhaul with the Supreme Court. And instead of nine Supreme Court justices, we will have 13. Now, my reasoning behind all that is, well, it's because what my spidey sense tells me. But also, if you look at it, the reason why we have nine, <clears throat> sorry, the reason we have nine Supreme Court justices is because they're, when they wrote it in, there were nine appellate courts. Well, we now have 13 appellate courts, and I feel they will 
rectify the system and have 13 Supreme Court justices now that we have 13 appellate courts. That's where I see it. Now, Linda Walker, Arthur, would you please give us some idea of when the MAGA's House members who participated in January 6th are going to be indicted and convicted? We're also incredibly tired of this clown show in the House of Republicans. It's such an embarrassment. Yes, it is. What? You don't like hearing them with their angertainment? Yeah, say that 10 times. And then Susan Baker asks, when will they start indictments on the MAGA Congress and senators? Thanks. Well, I've been saying, and I still feel this, that as we get towards the end of the first quarter of 2025, I'm sorry, 2024, or in the sign of Aries, that's when names are going to start being released. And I don't think anyone's going to be surprised with the names that are on the list. Not one surprise. I have my wish list. I guess you can call it instead of Arthur's list, you can call it Arthur's S list. But that's where I see it. And I feel I don't know about exactly when all the can they'll be convicted, but I do feel people will have to resign. There'll be a big walk of shame. And, you know, they'll be pulling juries and grand juries and people will be getting in trouble. I know it seems like it's taking a long time, but, you know, some good, some things are worth waiting for. Can't rush it. So I'll put it this way. If you want a piece of chocolate cake right now, I'd have to hand you a bowl with a spoon. So you can eat the batter. It's not a cake yet. These aren't these people aren't indicted yet. They're not convicted yet. But the good thing is, if you read the side of the box, oh, this is how long it takes to make a cake. We're gonna have cake, people. Really. Plus, if you like popcorn, I'll bring the butter. So it's gonna be fun. Gail asks, I have a question about the Secret Service. Will those involved be held accountable for doing nothing before, during, and after January 6th? Also, how about the agents that just stood there while 45 took boxes from the White House, as well as moving the boxes around? They must have known. Well, I feel some will be in trouble. Some will not. That's all I get. Time will tell. But they're not going to walk away like, well, I was just doing what I was told. Yeah, there's the Nuremberg trials. Same thing. Now, Virgo in Kenyon, will any of the House or Senate be caught up in the brothel bust in Boston? Thank you. Now, if you're not aware of this, three men were arrested when investigators busted a network of brothels in Mass Massachusetts and Northern Virginia. There are these luxury condos and apartments that are being used to set up as a brothel. And I always find it interesting. They always find a way to rip off the government. And one of these guys that was busted for the brothel is accused of illegally obtaining COVID-19 relief funds. Oh, good. Relief funds, COVID funds, Start a brothel. Nice. Now, are we really surprised there's a brothel bust? Are we really surprised? I mean, Paul, will we get the names of these people? No. A few will be you know, like scattered here and there, but the biggies, no. No. But don't forget, I mean, it is the oldest profession. And let's face it, when it comes to New York and and all that. I mean, Julie Brown was her name. She died, what, in 1875, I think. She was known as one of the, the big madam. Then you had Polly Adler. And let's not forget, I wrote some names down here. 
Sydney Biddlebarrows, known as the Mayflower Madam. And then there was Kristen M. Davis, previously known as the Manhattan Madam. And then there's, don't forget the Beverly Hills Madam, Alex. And who can forget, who can forget Heidi Fleiss? When one shuts down, another one opens. So it's just a guy's going to be caught on this that are in the Senate or in the House. Probably some names will come out. But I feel it'll be like low hanging fruit, the ones that are easy to grab. The higher ones, no, unfortunately. I wish I was wrong, but that's what I get. And here's a great question. This question may be wishful thinking or hoping, but do you see any more student loan debt relief coming pre or post 24 election? So many had their debt erased on a large portion or it is forgiven and many have had no little to no relief. Thank you, Arthur. Well, it ain't over. As long as Biden's there, he's going to be pushing and pulling and doing everything he can. And when we get Democrats in Congress taking over the House and the Senate, believe me, it's going to be like a dream team. Dreamers are going to be get relief on this. Student deaths will be relieved. So, because at that time, don't forget, I mean, you have people that, like Marjorie Taylor Greene, that was against student debt loan, relief on student debt, yet she's got over a million dollars in PPP loans that didn't have to be paid back. And what was she needing over a million dollars for? What industry is she involved in? I know there's something, um, I'll say anything on paperwork, but there are a lot of people that got their loans, PPP loans forgiven, but they don't see that it's good for them, but not for anybody else. So there you go. And Sweetie Darling Lulu asking about Alex. Why hasn't Alex Jones made a payment to Sandy Hook parents? Well, there's still court cases going down with him. In fact, he was just admonished by a judge recently saying that just because you say something doesn't mean it's true. Like they were asking yes or no questions. He was going off about, well, I'm going bankrupt and I have no money. And, and she just said, shut up. Basically just slapped them, told them to shut up that just because you say you went bankrupt doesn't mean you're going bankrupt, which he hasn't apparently may have filed some paperwork, but that doesn't mean he can get away with it. He's going to pay. Believe me. He will pay. 2025 is not his year. Believe me. So my friends, that's about it. I'm sorry if I rambled on, but I'm under the weather, so bear with me. In the meantime, I'm wishing you all a wonderful Thanksgiving. Again, I always want to say thank you to all of you. You mean the world to me. You really do. Love you all. And that's not lip service. I really do. And also, just take care of yourself. Take care of others. Vote, 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 and just have fun. Play with that inner child of yours. Let it come out and play. It'll be a brighter world. In the meantime, as always, stay amazing. And thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.